and he's a top pickup artist. Are you from Miami or not? It's like watching a different planet. He believes he can make any man more attractive, even me. Where would be a good place for a chap to go and buy some socks? And I head to cowboy country. Bonkers, yeah, absolutely bonkers. Popular. For the ones with the most swagger. I'm going to test that in my next stop. Miami. This America, as models from New York decamp for fashion shoots in the sun. And where models go, desperate single guys are never far behind. I'm here to meet a group of men who are hoping to learn how to become more attractive from some of the best pickup artists in the business. Have you done any of these courses before? Uh, my fourth. Oh, really? Yeah. As a result of the courses that you've done, have you had a lot more successful encounters? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, sure. That's six times, bro. Six times? Yeah. If, you, if you're already up, up by six, <laughs> why, uh, why do you still need more? I don't know. I'm just hungry. <laughs> what improvements have you seen since coming to these? Uh, I actually bought a stripper. Congratulations. Ago. Yeah. yeah. So that's like a wow, it's huge for me. Yeah. You know? No, pulling a stripper is it's a, it's a yeah. wonderful thing to do. Their guru is Julian Blanc, a self proclaimed master in the art of picking up women. This is very strange. Guys lining up to have their photograph taken. It's the sort of thing you do when you meet a rock star or favourite footballer. There's a kind of very dry desert. Lots of guys going through a dry patch, and the Messiah has just landed. Julian believes that modern men have forgotten how to act around women. You'll hear, like, what is an excuse to approach a girl? Why the f do you need an excuse? The excuse is, look, you're a man, she's a girl. Isn't that enough? You don't need a f excuse. Julian teaches his students to display more masculine behavior in order to look like the alpha males of the pack. Attraction's always been the same, okay? What attracted a caveman back in the day, okay, or a cave woman, is still what attracts a woman today. You know, is it gonna help me survive? Is it gonna help me reproduce? Is it gonna help my kids survive? Yes or no? Many a monkey might agree with Julian. In most primates, males compete for female attention by displaying strongly masculine behavior. These primates certainly seem to appreciate Julian's message. You don't need to be like model looking to pick up a girl to make a girl attracted to you. Okay? They're not looking at that. They're looking at the behavioral cues, not the visual cues. But the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Coming up, can Julian's techniques turn me into a babe magnet? Where, where would be a good place for a chap to go and buy some socks? A can be so hard about wrestling an angry calf to the ground. Yeah. In Miami with Julian Blanc, a pickup artist who believes he can teach anyone to become more attractive. He charges thousands of dollars to teach guys to chat up women in the street with the aim of getting their number. Wherever the elbow's pointing, that's the girl. Okay. First, Julian sends his students, Frank and Max, to talk to an unsuspecting group of girls. This is a fairly tough challenge, isn't it? For, for a guy mid-afternoon sober you're literally jumping in and demanding that the girl stops whatever she's doing to pay attention to you i have to admit i'm skeptical but i'm astonished to see what happens next is he taking a number he's taking a number for me this is like watching the laws of gravity in reverse it's like watching an apple fall up to a tree the idea of walking up to a girl you don't know and getting a phone number mid-afternoon on a shopping street <laughs> just the start. Julian's about to give a demonstration of the master in action. Excuse me, are you from Miami or no? No. I literally looked away for a minute, turned my head back around again, and two more girls he's walking past, he stopped them going into a store and he's introduced those girls to the other girls. Hey, my friend, she also hates Lou. Yeah. By surrounding himself with women, Julian believes he's making himself look popular and therefore more attractive. It just looks so easy, it's so effortless. It's almost like cheating. Being a bloke is meant to be a lot harder than this. It's meant to be about 
knockback and rejection and no one loves you. And this is just about, hey, we're all having a party and aren't we fun and come and join the party? And everyone does seem to be joining his party. But then something extraordinary happens. Maybe you want to go out tonight? Sure. Yeah, it's 310. She's just asked him for his number. It's like watching a different planet. It looks like Earth, but it's not quite Earth. I grudgingly have to admit that Julian seems like a master at work, but some of his disciples look a little less virtuoso. You guys look like sisters in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a pickup line. Maria and Luisa. What, what flavor is that, by the way? Um, was it caramel or yeah. 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 Show me. Two seconds. <laughs> Walk with me. Pickup artists believe that women are turned on by a man who takes charge. So a key technique is to physically dominate a girl by touching her and leading her around. Perhaps Frank was channeling his inner chimp. A frisky male will attempt to separate a female from the group by leading her away to a private place until she's ready to mate. Frank's still a chimp in training, but he hasn't given up yet. Stand up. Two seconds, stand up. He started issuing commands, a pickup artist technique to get his target used to doing as she's told. Two seconds, stand up as well. Two seconds. Hugs. Hugs. Okay. Frank's pickup skills look pretty clumsy to me, but he still persuades her to give him her number. Um, what? Well, oh, that's fine. No, no, that's totally fine. I'm just trying to be... I mean, as a group, sure. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just However, reluctantly. Yeah. I'll definitely text you guys next week. Okay, bye, girls. Be safe. When Frank walked over to you, what did you think at first. He yeah. actually came out really friendly. Like, very friendly. It's interesting to know girls don't mind guys no, coming I, up. Why, why were you? I mean, a few friends, you know? Yeah, yeah like, I think people were. I promise you they don't need to be your friends. <laughs> I mean, to me, it, a lot of it looked really forced, a bit creepy. Like, kind of getting someone to stand up and lead them on your arm. It's just bizarre, but it sort of seems to work. It's a strange disconnect there. Despite my misgivings, I wonder whether Julian's onto something. This is an awkward Brit. The prospect of approaching women like this is utterly terrifying. Right now, the focus should be solely on you building your own party. So you're just like having, having massive fun. And it's like bringing the girls into that party. I mean, it's, it's quite hard to, to generate your own party when it's after lunch and you, you just kind of want to have a lie down, maybe a cup of coffee. Especially during the day, yeah. There's no music. Where, Again, it's not like... Where's, I mean, where's the party? <laughs> Right here. But if this can make me more attractive, I've got to give it a go. Hey there, I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hey there, are you from around here? No. Where are you from? Um, LA. Very strange question, but you, you, you kind of know American shops better than me. Where, I've run out of socks. Where, where would be a good place for a chap to go and buy some socks? A chap to buy some socks. It seems that when confronted with attractive women, I just can't stop talking about socks. I need some sock information because I've, I've run out of socks. I have very sensitive feet. I, 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 I need kind of like... I, I, need, I need kind of like cashmere. I need some sort of... I don't want anything kind of cheap in there. I don't own cashmere. Seeing me flounder, Julian steps in. Switch out of it we're meeting each other. Yeah. So what's... Uh, what, where, OK, forget the socks. I'll, I'll, I'll get by if I... If you know, where, where would be a good place to go tonight? What would you recommend? Um, okay. My first attempt wasn't exactly a triumph. You need to be a little bit more... Oh, there should be some pump behind it. Yeah. It's too, like, limp. Yeah. But this isn't a game for quitters. I'm Tim, by the way. Onwards for another attempt. I'm Tina. Where are you from? Macedonia. Ah, where uh, Donde in Barcelona? Oh my gosh, I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> what? <laughs> Macedonia used to be. Oh, Macedonia, I think it said Barcelona. And there's a few talking about it. Have a seat next week. Yes, it's Barcelona. Alright, so you're for, you know, so from the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. It's so funny. What's the best cocktail in Macedonia? Wow, best cocktail in Macedonia. People that come in Miami, I find that they want to try mojito. Okay, will you make me a mojito later? After a rocky start, I rush in for the kill. If I take your number, I'll... I'll... Well, I'm going to be at work. I won't be able to... With a sleeping when, when I'm out tonight. Okay. A surge of testosterone courses through my veins. 
But it seems I've already lost her attention. Oh, sorry, yes. I'm called Tim. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Clearly, I've still got a lot to learn. Having seen these guys at work, you can improve your attractiveness through doing certain things by projecting an energy, a positivity, the way you carry yourself. But that level of thought and that sort of technique can start to feel a bit creepy. Maybe Julian's right that modern men need to rediscover the art of acting like men in order to attract women. But if masculinity is just an act, I wonder how long that attraction will last in a relationship. Coming up, how will 4,000 hardened cowboys react when I step out at the radio 